Welcome back to the channel guys and on today's video if you haven't seen from the title already this one is dubbed the goo mystery machine because this Toyota Highlander has this stuff underneath the passenger and the driver front seats that I cannot explain it has the consistency of motor oil it smells like food just it's pure disgusting to be honest but we're going to be getting out of the carpets today and the first things first is obviously getting all of the seats out of this one in particular because the carpets don't look too bad from the before shots, but once I remove the rear seats and these front passenger and driver seats, it's a whole different story. Now with it being December, it's only rightfully so that you guys need to comment below what is the one thing you wish you got for the holidays this year? So let me know down below what it is. And what I'm gonna be doing this video is giving away a $250 gift card to Amazon to one lucky person that I'll be picking from the comments down below. So make sure you enter in by commenting what is the one thing you want this holiday season. Wow, that is a mess. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Now, despite all the candy wrappers and food and Cheetos, which are by far one of my favorites, there is no maggots, there is no living objects, there's no living animals whatsoever underneath these seats, which was a true blessing. because if you haven't seen any of my previous videos on Stoffer Garage, it is a common theme that I have in my videos. I find maggots, I find bugs, roaches, you name it, underneath seats, especially ones that have some sort of food inside them. But this one didn't, which was a blessing. Now right here is the first glimpse of that mystery goo and you can see here how it pretty much just stays on the surface. It doesn't like soak back in, which led me to believe that it's some sort of oil-based product. But I did smell it. I know that sounds disgusting, but I had to kind of understand what this was because it kind of helps with the cleaning process of what chemicals to use. Um, it smelled like candy too. So it was the weirdest thing. I'm not still to this day not sure what it was, um, maybe it was lip gloss that had melted or something, but um, I tried to use a cleaner that was more for oil-based type substances later on in the extraction phase, which seemed to work out well. And for the driver's side, this was obviously the worst of the mystery goo.
Now, all the products that I use within my videos are always listed in the description box for you guys to pick up. And the first products that you're gonna see are from my own personal brand, Fox Clean. That's where you'll find your detailing brushes, your microfiber towels, and even the pet detailing brush, which I'm hoping is gonna be coming out in the next probably 30 days or so. I'm gonna have all of that product in inventory for you guys to pick up. And then if you're looking for vacuum cleaners or any of the sprays I use, I have them all listed in the Amazon links for you to check out as well. My top recommendation that if you're trying to keep your car clean and looking awesome is to just keep it vacuumed. Vacuuming is 80% of any detail and you can see here just by me vacuuming up these different areas of the vehicle how much of a difference it makes and which is why I recommend it as the number one thing that you can do to keep your car clean is to just keep it vacuumed. For all of you that have been asking where you can pick up the Foxtail Pet Detailing Brush, it's going to be available on foxclean.com in the next 30 days and I'm going to have pre-orders open up very shortly for all of you that want to pick it up early because honestly supplies are not going to last and this thing is a game changer to get into all of those nooks and crannies to get all of that pet hair out of your carpets or off your seat. Whenever I'm detailing cars, if there's any plastic trim or anything that is easily fixed, I always try to repair it for the owner. So in this case, the top trim piece that goes in this hatchback portion of the vehicle, it snapped back in and it just needed a little bit of fine tuning to those clips to make it fit back on. So I went ahead and repaired that for the owner and I try to do that every time I can within a reasonable amount of time if possible. Now for all the plastics and all these different nooks and crannies, I'm using my all-purpose cleaner diluted 10 to 1 ratio with water, and then my Fox Clean detailing brushes to get into all those little tight spots, and then just wipe it up with a microfiber towel. This clip in particular is actually sped up 20 times, which is really, really fast, but the stuff that was inside these little pockets around these bolts took quite a while, and it was a mix of hair, food, candy, and I, God knows what, um, and it just took a long time to get out, so this clip is rather short compared to how long it actually took to get that spot clean.
Now, as much as carpet extraction and pressure washing, how enjoyable that is, for me personally, cleaning door panels and especially leather door panels or leather seats, leather transformations are probably my favorite because they make and break the actual detail for most of these types of cars. They truly can transform a car, especially if it's a tan leather, with making it look 10 times better than what it was when it first came in. This was the worst door panel by far, and it was specific to the speaker grill area, and that's because some sort of you know soda pop or something spilled on it and got completely saturated inside that area. So using my all-purpose cleaner, my detailing brush to get inside all those little holes and pocket areas was easily cleaned up with the vacuum cleaner, and it helped suck out all of that excess fluid that you can't really get to with your microfiber towel. And one other tip that you can use your uh, vacuum for is getting inside of any of those seams or leather you know, seam areas on your door panels. It helps remove that excess fluid that you can't get to when you're doing your detail. When it comes to extremely dirty leather, sometimes you have to stick with an all-purpose cleaner because it has some oil breakdown properties, whereas a leather cleaner sometimes just doesn't have enough oomph, if you will, at getting them clean. Now, with this being a 2004, there were certain spots in the leather seats and the headrest that weren't able to come out because they had actually stained the leather itself. So with just using the all-purpose cleaner, the drill brush, these turned out incredibly well considering how much dirt was on them before. Now my procedure for these floor mats is to get them all vacuumed first, followed up by using my pet hair brush to remove any of the loose fibers from the carpet itself, but also to get that pet hair out of them as well. Uh, 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 
Now for stain removal, I fill up my sprayer with a powdered type carpet cleaning solution and all that's linked down below for you to check out. But using hot water and my carpet cleaning powder, mixing it up, spraying it on here, giving it some time to sit, and then using my drill brush to agitate that fiber, get those stains moved around and that liquid detergent doing its job before using the extractor, which is just filled with hot water, to remove any of those stains and dirt from the carpet fibers. If you're trying to clean your carpets yourself or your floor mats yourself, one thing to keep in mind is if you have a light colored carpet, the longer the stain sets, the harder it's going to be to remove it. So if you're trying to get them out, just have general expectations of how much you're going to be able to get them clean. And for these floor mats in particular, and even the carpets inside the vehicle, my expectations were with two passes, I would get probably, you know, 75% of all the stains out and returning the carpet back to new. And that's just being realistic of what you're capable of with the machinery and also just with the actual stain itself. So if you're trying to remove them yourself, just kind of keep that in mind that, you know, whatever you're going to do to try to clean it is always going to be better than what it was before.
this floor mat in particular, I was really happy with how well the extraction fluid pulled out a lot of these stains. But if you wanted to take it to a different level when it came to restoring your carpet, is to either one, buy brand new floor mats or carpet, or they do have carpet spray paint dyes out there that after they're clean and if they're truly dry and vacuumed, you could just kind of spray paint them if you will. And it keeps the carpet soft, but it also re-dyes the fibers. So that way it's a actual, you know, a consistency that covers the whole carpet to make it look like new. This spot in particular was rather troublesome and it, you know no matter what I did with this area it seemed like the stains kept coming out so I don't know if there's extra motor oil that I talked about earlier underneath here if that's what it was um, but majority of the carpet got clean but this spot definitely stayed wet longer which makes me think that there might be some more underneath the carpet itself and ideally I would pull out the carpet in a vehicle of this level of dirt but because it is um, 25 degrees in Ohio right now, um, taking it out of the car, pressure washing outside would just turn this into an ice cube and make it really pretty much impossible to get clean with a pressure washer. So using the extractor, we do the best job we can.
like you can see here, if I didn't have these seats out of the car itself and removed from the vehicle, it would be really impossible to get them to the level of cleanliness that I like to have with my details. And for this one in particular, the rails were rather filled with food and I would have never gotten all this, you know, the different, you know, candies and food and, and trash underneath the seats out if I didn't remove them from the car. On the back side of this seat is a small stain here that you see I'm spraying with the all-purpose cleaner. That is an option that you can take. Instead of having to extract a full seat or if you have a small stain in one little small area, using a you know some sort of detailing brush or bristle brush to agitate that all-purpose cleaner and then just using a microfiber to wipe it clean, it typically does the job.
Now, while you're watching these before and after shots of this transformation, make sure you're subscribed down below so you don't miss out on any new detailing transformations like this one. And also in the top right corner, I want you to make sure that you watch the previous video. And this was an Audi TT that you will not believe the amount of cigarette ash that was in it. It was truly disgusting. And if you thought this one was dirty, this one was by far one of the top ones out there. So make sure you watch that video after this one. And also make sure you comment down below what is the one thing you want this holiday season as well. That way you can be entered in for the $250 gift card giveaway. So thanks again for being part of the Stop for Garage crew. Enjoy the next video and I hope you guys have an amazing holiday season. And if I don't see you until 2021, Happy New Year.